Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, Mike the Wandering Toque. Joining me tonight on this occasion is my friend and co-host, Daniel Big Foam Loaf. Hey, man. Hey, hey. Just so you guys are aware, it's been a bit of a rough week for everybody. We're not going to get into it, but um, we, we're just... Dude, I'm happy to just sit down with you again. Dude, I, I need to do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I mean, it's been a while. Uh, I know it's... I have to apologize to some of our listeners who are normally guests on the show because I kept saying a while back, hey, I'll get in touch with you about uh, what we're going to organize. And I didn't because it took us a while to figure out what the heck we were doing. Right. Um, but we basically yeah. decided that we're going to finish this campaign, the two of us, then move into a totally... Uh, so we'll do it all at once, right? Because you didn't yep. want, you wanted to, to stay in the zone. You wanted to, to be in the headspace to finish this campaign. And then we're going to get a bunch of guests on and we're going to do like a month of Lord of the Rings, do a cycle. And then we're going to come back to Arkham and get a bunch of friends on to do a bunch of awesome scenarios. It won't be like the last one with the story, but uh, I want to get the guests on. And there's been a lot of uh, side quests released that we haven't played that are actually a lot of fun. That's not just yeah. Ruru kicking your butt every time. So. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the big ones, right? Like, you know, I haven't played Blob since Gen Con, and I've never played Machinations Through Time, or... Have what's you played... the one where all the cults are fighting each other? I've never done oh, that Oh, War of the Elder Gods. Yeah, that. War of the Outer so. Gods. Oh, that, that they're great. They're great. You're right, so. and I want to do, do those, so... Yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, but here we are. We uh, are. we we escaped. We escaped Arkham. Uh, Bob escaped the Lone Sharks, and we were out for our first adventure when our plane crashed on this mountain. And we spent all last game figuring out where to make camp. And we actually found a pretty good campsite. We found a good one, I think. Yep, Shelter yeah. Seven, which uh, we what we noticed was second highest of what we uncovered. So this is Ice and Death Part 2. It is not a scenario you have to play. So in, during that initial plane crash uh, of our, what is it, nine, nine partners that showed up uh -huh. to, with us, uh, Danforth died in the plane crash. Yep. Uh, that, that's what it is. Someone's got to gotta die. It ended up being by random draw, Danforth. And then during last night's sleep... Dr. Amy Kensler went missing. So we had an option. Is she on her own? Is she just left the group? She split the party? No, no, no. Uh, we decide to be <laughs> heroes. We're going to go after her. So that's where we are. Set up for this scenario, you keep the same map. Yep. The only difference is that anything that you didn't actually see gets put into play. So this frigid cave up at the top right... Uh, we didn't okay. even know about. So every location that was revealed last game is still revealed this game. And that's important because a lot of them are locked under clue gates. Okay. So they're all available to us. Now, if you start from the, the very top left, we have the icebreaker landing. We haven't been there. Okay. And then two but locations. We knew it was there. We knew right? it, was, we knew there. it was, there. was there. Two locations over, barrier camp. We knew it was there, didn't open it. Okay. And we didn't get to the rocky crags, which means we also didn't see the frigid cave. Okay. So there's so lots what of are that. these cards under these things? Okay. We know Amy Kensler went missing. So this scenario comes with a deck of nine cards. And you take all okay. the missing people, because there can be up to actually all nine. <laughs> you take all the missing people and you put them aside. And then you add random story cards until you have a deck of nine. Okay. So in our case, we have Amy and eight cards, story cards randomly interspersed amongst all these uncharted locations. Okay. So the good news is we only have to hunt down one person. The bad news is that one person could be very hard to get to because we don't know where they are. Right. Could they actually be with us? Yes, potentially. Well, potentially. Would it would be interesting. Okay. Now, okay. some other fun things. So we can't get to some of these areas without spending the clues to get there, as I mentioned. Okay. Right. We also have the crash site, and at our current place, the remnants of Lake's camp, we have the supplies. 
there is a wooden sledge here, and then over at the crash site there is a... what is it here? Spare parts. There are other supplies, and if we happen to find them, we get to collect them. This is just another chance to get more if we so care to do so. Okay. I think that's... I think that's it. Okay. That's basically it. It's, it is a different encounter deck. Just so you're aware. Okay. And uh, some of our team is, uh, yeah, they just kind of wandered off on their own. So before we do, actually, let, let's do our, why don't we get you to do the reading? Okay. There's this not... is Ice and Death Part 2, right? Yes. Okay. Your team scrambles in preparation to search for those who went missing in the night. You hate the idea of venturing back out into the freezing cold so soon after taking refuge. But you have no choice if you're to find your companions. Add a snowflake to the chaos bag, Mike. Oh, we earned we earned a snowflake. So now we have two in the bag. And two if, is auto fail, right? If you draw two during a test, that is an auto fail. Okay. Now, I looked at all the passages below that correspond to the characters who are not missing. Uh and we read so we read the William Dyer, the Avery Claypool, and the Cookie Fredericks, right? Uh, yes. And it looks mm -hmm. like it's only the first part. Right. Yep. So let's, yeah. Okay. This is Professor Lake's team all over again, Dyer grumbles. When we first lost contact with them, we assumed it was the weather, but his gaze, cold and dead, meets yours. We know better now, don't we? At least, I thought we did. If William Dyer has chosen to accompany an investigator this game, he enters play with one additional secret. Oh. Now, Mike, do you remember what his secrets do? Uh, yes, you can heal two horror from an investigator or another ally asset at your location. Awesome. Okay. Now, Avery Claypool is alive, and he's also not missing, Mike. Awesome. Claypool takes inventory of your remnants, remaining supplies, shaking his head as he counts. Nothing's missing, he confesses in disbelief. They took nothing with them. Nobody saw them leave, and there's no evidence they were taken. It makes no sense. You ask Claypool how long one could survive out there without supplies. In this weather, and with those things still out there, his knowing eyes flee from yours. They won't survive the night. Now, if he's chosen to accompany the investigator, he enters with one additional supply. Hmm. He's a good one. When an investigator at your location reveals a snowflake, exhaust him and spend a supply to just cancel the token and reveal a new one. That seems helpful with two of those in the bag. It does. And James Cookie Fredericks. Cookie lo loads bullets into his revolver with a faraway gaze. You get the sense this isn't the first time he's woken to such trauma. We're going to find him, he intones over and over under his breath. We're going to find him. You're unsure who he's trying to convince. If we choose him, he comes with one additional bullet. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So he's a right. fight with a base skill of five. Yep. Um, all right. And I believe Dr. Malasina has two damage She has on two. Her. She's, she got a little hurt last time, yep. Yep. It's okay, um, she can heal herself. She can heal herself. She comes with how many supplies? Three? All right, well. Maybe I'll take, uh, Claypool. All right, you have Claypool. You okay with that? Oh, yeah. Claypool's good. Okay. He's coming with me. What did I choose last time? I chose rolled. And he comes with an extra supply, right? Yes, he does. Let's see here. You're really good in the combat department. Like, you're exceptionally good in the combat department. I'm exceptionally good, but don't ask me to, you know, read. It's too bad that the reader is gone missing then. So that means me taking Frederick <laughs> is a waste of time. Uh, Takata would give me money, but that's... There's a 40% chance that's not very useful to me. Depending on what I draw with short supply. Right. Alaya evades, that's alright. Dyrus Hora, Horror, Mala's damage. I like Rolled Ellsworth in this scenario. I really do. Take I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take him. Well, what does how, he do for us? How much do you have? Five you have six. Oh my goodness. Uh I, I get so, to right? I get to blank treachery text boxes. Oh well, that seems handy. Yeah, remember all those awful treacheries where like you couldn't yeah. move or you you had to discard your hand when investigating? I remember those well. Um 
Now, it, the setup Mike talks about possessed enemies. Uh, yes, that's uh, holy crap! <laughs> Sorry, just putting our characters away. Uh, yes, it does, and we have a possessed Doctor Mala. No, Doctor Mala. Do? A, a, a possessed Amy Kensler. Okay. In here. Okay. And uh, there's a, a really awesome thing in that investigator setup. The very first point. Uh, each investigator's base starting resources is equal to the shelter value of the camp. Instead of five, so we get seven. I'll take I'll take seven to start. Really nice, eh? Wow. All right. Considering my awful draw, I end up with the devil in my opening hand. Ugh. A literal devil. You're not allowed to mulligan it away. Oof. Sorry to hear that, man. And I can't play assets unless I play the freaking devil. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so so here we are. Hey. Uh, let's, I guess we'll read some story. So you're, you're doing the act, right? It. Is that the, or am I doing both? Uh, I, can't remember. I don't even remember. I think you did them both, to be honest. Okay, awesome. Well, I got to just pour out the rest of my extremely bitter beer here. And uh, here we go. Oh yeah, we okay. can get rid of this doom. Okay, so oh, good. I thought that I thought that was something that we started with. No, like, oh. it's not. And I'm going to put some scenario reference cards down here for us. Okay, thank you. Now it looks like we got Mike, skull. Mike, oh, I'm raising a glass to you. Ah, oh. yeah, meeting you, buddy. Cheers. Okay, so this is the same scenario card as last time, where the higher the shelter value of your location, the worse the skulls are. Yep. Okay. This to Kelly Lee deck is going to be here forever, just so you know. We always have okay. it. Okay. Uh, so you don't want to be at minus two. You don't want to fail. Sorry, you don't want to be up by less than two to avoid okay. that one. And we also have two tablets in the bag. And that's a minus mm. three now. And for each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck, drawing each weakness. So that's a, oh. a way to get at those to Kelly Lee cards. All right. Nice. A harsh wind blows. This is agenda four because we are at the fourth agenda in this little adventure. And that's because we basically said we're going to keep, we're going to extend scenario one. That's correct. Okay. Because one of our options was screw them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. In which case the the outcome is predictable. You just scratch out their names. Continue on. <laughs> wow. Instead of we did the heroic thing and we got a snowflake in the bag. That was nice of us. Yeah. Several of your party have mysteriously vanished in the night. Without a sign of any struggle, you can only assume they left of their own accord. But why? So it says several of your party. Uh, there are red shirts, basically, in this game. We have our core, but they also have their entourage. It's not just us and the nine partners that went on this journey. There's a few others. They're just apparently not worth naming. Sure. Wow. Well. And we are at Act 2A, The Lost Expedition. You set out to search for the missing team members, hoping to find them before daybreak. As a free action, spend two clues as a group. Draw an encounter card at your location. Great. 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 As an action, you can resign at camp. Objective, find as many missing expedition members as you can by adding them to the victor display, then head back to camp before daybreak. Okay. So we need two clues to just look to see who's at our place, huh? Uh, yep. That's okay. it. That's it. And uh, my hand sucks. So yeah. Yeah, mine's okay. Um, I think. We're also well probably gonna have to open stuff up, but yeah, there we go. Yeah. So I have an idea, Mike, that maybe I should head south where the reading is only a one. What's your and book I, value? Oh, one. <laughs> Are you sure about yeah. that? And I I get, yeah, because I got a bangle of jinxes once things start attacking me. But I also like that ability down there. So, folks at home, I'm looking at the snowdress. Wait, you like when that you ability? When you successfully investigate, I can add a, uh, a snowflake to draw discover three additional, right? Yeah, don't do that. Well, I got the guy who killed snowflakes. No, no, no. He doesn't take them out of the bag. He no, I can't... know. I understand that. I understand that. But, I mean, 
That's like one fell swoop, four clues. It is. And I think that's helpful. That's a third snowflake for the rest of the game. Understood. Okay. Okay. Dude, I'm a pretty beefy mechanic. What's a snowflake going to do to me? There, you heard it now, folks. I'm going to get 17 auto fails from two snowflakes. I'll tell you what it's going to do. He's going to draw again into everything his dread curse put in the bag. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, the reason why I'm scared is because I am level up into, well, I level up to rope, but I'm survivor, and I don't, I ride the wire. So, uh, I know least, how afraid you are. I, I need, like, 10 experience to not ride the wire, basically. Okay, well, right. do what well, you're Well, it's a do. thought. It's a thought, because I feel like that really will be the only place I can find clues. Got it. And if we don't need me to find clues necessarily, then well, we I'll can see your we can butt see. around. We can see what happens. Uh, there are enemies in this. I just we'll have to see how it all goes. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Do you mind if I go first? Yeah, good. Well, or do you want to go first? And do you have money to pay for things for me? Um. Yeah, I'll go first, and I'll I'll see what happens here. How's that? That's a great idea. Okay, okay. I'm going to play unscrupulous alone. <laughs> And I have seventeen dollars. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna play the devil because I can't play assets while I have the devil in my hand. Okay. And uh, so that's basically, all you just did was spend three dollars to be able to play the game. Yeah. Okay. And now uh, I will use my free action so that you can play an item. How much are you going to pay for my sledgehammer? What's it worth? $3. Uh, I'll pay 2 I like you, Bob. Yeah, keep in mind... Oh, shoot. Sorry. I have to... Back up, back up. Uh, I have to discard the top 10 cards in my deck as per short supply. Oh, right. Because yes. I have a short supply on a world support deck. So my 10 cards are... Last Chance. Beyond Chart. Good. Flashlight. Good. Winging it, good. Well connected is... I'm never getting that back. Greed is awesome. Pocket telescope, good. Bandages, good. I like all my items there. Scavenging, no! That's what I have. That's what I need to make this work. And a perception. Okay. So the good news is I have 13 cards left and I still have my resourceful and I still have my scrounge for supplies. That should get me my scavenging. And, and you still have your unscrupulous loan. What does that do for me, though? Oh, that would have been in your opening hand, right? Okay. Yeah. You do hand, and then you pitch your hand, your deck, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So the really sucky thing is um, I got thank, my... Hold on. I'd like to thank Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for those kind words. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, yeah. The um, <laughs> So the unscrupulous loan was great, except that my well connected is in the discard pile. Yeah, that's So one. my plan is I have to keep this at, at least 10, so as to not well, exile unscrupulous loan. Well, it's at the end of the game. It is, but I don't have any money makers in this deck. Like that was my money maker. <laughs> is um, that your roundabout way of saying you're not buying my sledgehammer anymore? Uh, yeah, I got. I that was a that was a, a freebie. Okay, so I have done two things. Three so wait, things. Wait, with... I'm, I'm not getting a sledgehammer, right? No, no, I did. Oh, you did for the same amount of money. Sure, I'll just have to be really, really careful from now on. Okay. Like, ludicrously careful. Okay, and for my last action, I will investigate uh, against a three shroud. I'm a four. Let's see what happens. I like it. Uh, I, what I lose by? One? One, it looks like. Well, I'm going to play that card that you always want me to play. Look what I found. I'm grab, a fan of that card. Grab two clues. And you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to spend them. We'll just see what this is. Dr. Kensler, is that you? No. Dissected, Dissected explorer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ew. You follow a set of tracks into a small cavern carved into a glacial wall, and your stomach lurches at the sight before you. One of your missing team members lies in a crumpled heap at the end of the hollow, his clothing torn open. 
A clean, vertical incision has bisected his torso open from his sternum to his belly, and his entrails have been oh. carefully removed. You struggle not to retch. Who could have possibly done such a thing? I get to search my deck for a Tequili Lee weakness and put it on the bottom of the Tequili Lee deck. Great. That didn't do anything. Oh, well. Oh, that's good, though, isn't it? Uh, I don't have any in my deck, so it, it effectively whiffs, but it's... We had to look at it. We had to... But we want to... I mean, that seems like it's good for us to get rid of those things on the bottom of the deck, right? Or am I reading that wrong? I, right now, get to search my deck for a copy of that right. uh, weakness and place it on the bottom of that deck. I don't have any weaknesses in my deck. Right, but that's a good thing, though, right? Like normally. If you had that in your deck, it would be good? Oh, yeah. Normally. Okay. Yeah, all these right. are all good things, I, I hope. All right. Oh, we got people in the chat. Kevin, good to see you. Steve, good to see you too. Catherine, hello, hello. Catherine, you might have missed it. Um, we're going to do, it's just the two of us doing this campaign, and then we're going to be doing a whole bunch of guest stuff, first Lord of the Rings, and then uh, we'll do a whole bunch of Arkham Horror stuff. So uh, I'm assuming you're in, and we'll chat get ready, later get about Get ready that. to play Lord of the Rings, Catherine. Uh, but basically for the next month, we're just going to power through this campaign. Yep. All right, that was the short version. And uh, Daniel... I think you still have an action left, right? No, because I played the devil, I did Unscrupulous Loan, and uh, I... bought my uh, thing for free. And then I investigated. Oh, you did investigate, that's right. Yeah, let me just... Looking at looking at the dissected corpse didn't take any time at all. Correct. But uh, your vomiting might take a while. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not... Uh, I don't want to spend money. That might be hard oh. in this game. Understood. So are you saying it's my turn, friend? I'm saying it's your turn. All right. Thing one, I'm going to get my bangle jangle out. I'm a fan Love of it. that. Me too. Then, because you paid for that and saved me an action, I'm going to get my bandolier out, just to be ready. Sure. Oh, hey, Board Game Lawyer. Board Game Lawyer is here. Bill's here. Oh, that is great. Great to he see here. No, you're around, Bill. Thank you, thank you. Um, right. Bill, Bill, by the way, your origin story was awesome. <laughs> that was really cool. Thank you for sending me that story. Um, and Mike, I think for my third action, I'm going to draw a card, not leave you alone. Okay. You're not going to jury rig your sledgehammer? No, that's fine. You're totally good. Ooh. Ooh, on the hunt. Ooh, that's a really good card. Yeah, it is. I wonder if it's worth just getting it now. Um, but I'm not going to, Mike. Okay. I hope you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Let's uh, <laughs> let's do our upkeep then, eh? Yep. Monster phase. Nothing. Upkeep. Shrew dealings. Yep. Yep. That would have been great to have last turn. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what? So, Mike, when we played the other week with Nick, it was interesting to see my deck kind of not work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, you learn a lot about your deck when that happens. Like, I got, like, these things just didn't work out. Um, that's happening again. And I really feel like what Danielle, how much she relies on her wrench is huge. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, that's, you have to. When I start, you know, investing XP later and stuff, I'm going to invest in a way so that I can compensate for losing it or not having it because yeah, I feel like I bank a lot on that. Um, like just the idea of like having something hit me all the time. That's the yeah. only way to do that because I can't provoke enemies. Like opportunity attacks don't trigger my ability. So got it. I know what you mean. It could tr it'll trigger things like counter punch and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Anyway, um, one, Doom has been added, Mike. All right. Uh, Do you want me to be first draw or you? I, Doesn't matter. Oh, I'll go first draw. But by the way, I I did finish this campaign with my wife. Oh. And in our second last game, I pulled the worst case scenario, which was discarding, uh, scavenging, resourceful, and scrounge for supplies. Oh, so you're playing the same deck you played with her? Yeah, well, well, That's it's cool. it's slight, slightly different idea, but I I, I discarded mm -hmm. those three, which means my engine was off. Awesome. And it honestly lost us the game. 
<laughs> um, I had two backup strategies, and one of them was only half firing. So well, let's hope you're. Let's hope you got one now. Well, the problem is, is that I don't have enough experience for those other backup strategies. Well, I will say this, Mike, and I know this might hurt your soul. Oh no! But I think I want this out before we both drink too much beer. You exiling your loans doesn't matter a whit to me. <laughs> I'm aware we of lose, that. We lose because you had to keep ten dollars in your pocket. No, we're not. I that's that's not going to be why we lose. Rich. We're going to lose because. I can't dig back my thing that I need and I have no well connected. I don't have the experience for say the red clock and all these other things that I can otherwise use as right. a crutch. Fine. I'm just saying if you worry too much about exiling loans and we lose because of it, I'm going to be Daniela, not I, I will not of course be mad at all, but Daniela might hit you with a wrench. Well, for that, I just might spend my next few turns just getting money. <laughs> <laughs> White out. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Each investigator at this location gets minus everything, <laughs> minus one to all their skills, until the end of the round. That's the weakest hazard. Uh, I was maybe gonna say it's... that doesn't seem so bad right now. It certainly isn't worth your uh, Ellsworth, is it? No, and it's a very good thing you do, you do on the hunt. I'm taking polar vortex. Okay. Okay, we had a really Ooh. good first round. Uh, yeah. For. Us? We know, wow. We know where we're not staying. Um let's not let's not stay at camp. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. All right. Well, should we do my southern uh my southern walk? Yeah, I'm gonna follow close to you. I'm wondering Snowgraves doesn't take much to open up. It only takes four. Crystalline Caverns takes eight. And that's in addition to the clues we spend just digging things up. Right, right. But we, but we can't get to a lot of them right now. All right, I'm headed to the drifts. Okay. That's thing one. Okay. Thing two is I'm going to investigate, Mike. Whew. And I am going to spend the charge on jury rig. You mean your bangle jinxes? Or I'm on my bangle jangles. Sorry. I keep forgetting about that. Never so mind. I have plus two, right? Yeah. Now, I could put jury rig in to make it a plus three, but I don't want to do that because the skull is minus two and the cultus is minus two, and I'm up two, right? Correct. Okay, so here I go. There it is. Cool. So, Mike, can you please put a snowflake in the bag, and I'm going to grab all four of those clues. <laughs> that is such a bad idea. <laughs> I, I, I don't read this as I have a choice. No, you do. Reactions are always choices. Oh, I totally want to do this. <laughs> S snowflakes. Worrying about snowflakes is for chumps. Everyone in the chat, I want you to, uh, I want you to chime moment. to chime in with what you think about this decision. And, and feel free to chime in with how it's the best one. All right. Now that I've done unbelievable work here, I'm going to spend two. Okay. And let's see who's here, shall we? Yeah. Disappearing footprints. See, Mike? Nothing bad happened. The tracks continued for some time before, vanishing bafflingly into the snow. There's no sign of any struggle, nor are there any other tracks that might indicate whether they could have gone. Could the winds have covered their tracks? And if so, why were you were able to follow the rest of the footprints so easily. But when you turn back to examine the prints you first followed, they too are gone. Remove a snowflake from the bag. <laughs> you Take have that, Mike. There is one of those. <laughs> Take that, Mike. I Holy told you it was no, no big deal. Wow. I told you. Uh, I still and want I, you folks to chime in on that, by the way. All right, and for your my last act, I'm going to draw right now my wrench. You ready? Okay, let's see it. Well, I'm going to move it's, to you. It's not my wrench. <laughs> um, hey, what's up? Hey, hey. Hey, Bob, look around you. What do you not see? You're right. Clues. <laughs> hey, buddy, look at me. What do you see? 
me and my snazzy jacket I found for $0. Eh, eh, oh, that eh, is eh. a snazzy jacket. All right, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to move south. Do you want to spend the remainder of the clues you have? Uh yeah. Actually, you should you keep those clues. But we still need four of them, don't we? To even go there? Oh, do we? Yeah, it is 400. Yeah. All right. Uh yeah, and we flip this over. Snow graves. After you discover the last clue from here, shuffle the top three cards of the Tequila Lee deck into your deck without looking at them. And oh. that's how you get the green soapstone. Well, that sounds good. But again, you don't have to do that, yeah? You don't. That's how you get one of the supplies. Hmm. That's a three again. <sighs> hmm. Well, uh, for my last action, I'm putting out shirt dealings. That's that. <laughs> Kevin. Uh -oh, what? Like it feels like my parents are arguing. <laughs> Who said that, Kevin? Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Phil says it's all. We're not we're not arguing. Your father and I love each other very much. <laughs> I'm the dad. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um all right. Um that's that's you, right? Uh that's me. Yep. Okay, so uh, enemy phase, there are none. Upkeep, my friend. I let Daniela do whatever she wants. Oh, jury ring. Ooh, manual dexterity. I might have to start drawing into... Uh, I need my resourceful. I need my scrounger supplies. Right. To Doom, Mike, do you want me to on the hunt, or are you okay letting things fly naturally? I'm okay oh, now that way. I have a manual dex. Okay, I'm going to discard these cards at the end of the round. Um, I think I'm not going to do on the hunt yet. Sure. Okay. I have skittering nonsense on me. Nice. No, not really. <laughs> okay. I have, I have a feeling it might get sledgehammered. That would be nice. Dark Aurora. Test brains three for each token revealed. Take a horror. If you fail, take two. That's not like super great. Um, all right. Do I have any any will sitting here? That's what I might build for too. Is figuring out ways to get will. My uh, my card my cards are very strength icon heavy. Um, I'm gonna just take it blind. Ready? Yeah. Let's see the elder sign. Okay. Me. How about that instead? That's just like That's an pretty good. All right, so it's now uh, our turns. What do you want to do this turn, Mike? Um, I don't want to be at a Shroud 3 location right now. I really don't. Do you want to head up to the Frozen Shores? I would. Uh, do you mind taking a nonsense? So I don't I... at all. Well, you trust me, right? Uh, yeah, I trust you. Okay. <laughs> well, before I do that, Mike, maybe I should jury rig oh, yeah. my sledgehammer. I'm wondering if I should just dig for stuff. 11 cards left. Like, I don't want to draw I was going to say, you can get through yourself pretty quick, right? Yeah, but I don't want to get through. Because I want to have a... Jury it... rig doesn't come with a... Oh, there it is. There. Oh, it does if you don't put it on your card. All right. I don't want to get so... through my deck. I want to get... I want to get scavenging out, and get a few things into my hand before I get through my deck. Right. Do you want to wing it away from this monster or something? Do these skittering nonsense... Oh, I have hunt? winging it in my hand! Yeah, do you... Do you... Do they hunt? They do hunt. Alright, well maybe they can hunt me and hit me. Oh my god. Because now Winging that... it evades them, right? No. You're thinking of impromptu barrier. Oh. I... Now that... Since you, uh... You reminded me that I have winging it. Yeah. I mean, I could use it here. Do it. Well, why don't you go... Well, it depends. If that fails, right? Well, if it fails, I lose my winging it. It gets shuffled in my deck. Whatever. Right, but, but then I can't come and get the nonsense off you. Huh? Well, you won't be moving, right? Uh, I still hope to move. 
You'll just be carrying a nonsense with you? Well, let's see. What I'm, at. I'm only up by two, actually. No, I'm only up by one. Holy crap. If you wing it. If you wing it. What do you mean by wing it? You said you're going to play winging it to get rid of this monster. Okay. Right? Winging it is an investigate card. Oh, it is? Yeah. What's the one where you can hit people out of the discard? Uh, Improvised weapon. And the evasion oh, okay. is impromptu barrier. Yeah. And I haven't drawn okay, that yet. So... All right. <laughs> if I mind. play manual decks, I'm only up by one, so I would very much appreciate a bailout. So what you'd like me to do is jury rig, come down to you, and say, Bob, what is that thing? I don't know. Just hit it with a hammer. Um, he does one and one. A part of me is thinking I might just use my last act to engage it so it attacks me. Uh, that might be all right. Up to you. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I put it in a chokehold. All right. Bob, run. I'm playing winging it. Nice. That's not supposed to be in there. Why do we have a blessed token there? That was a carryover from last game. Okay. Well, that's nice, too. Uh, okay. Awesome. Minus one. Uh means I pass, because it was a three on a two. I get two okay. clues. Literally the only clue acceleration I have right now. So who do we find here, then? And I shuffle this into my deck. Somber oh. remains. You come across evidence of one of your lost companions, abandoned and half-buried in snow, torn scraps from a heavy fur coat and a pair of goggles. Examining the goggles closely yields a terrifying discovery. A dark, Ooh. sticky substance that you cannot, Ooh. for the life of you, identify. Ugh. Search the top nine cards of your deck for each copy of a Tequila Weakness and place each one you find on the bottom of the deck without resolving it. Shuffle your deck. Whatever. That doesn't do anything. Alright, so I have done one thing. I am drawing a card. It's a stray cat. I love that you have a stray cat. And I moved. Is that it? That's it. All right. Well, here I am. All done as well. So now it is the monster face. I am hit by skittering nonsenses. For one and one. And I'm just going to take it, dude. Join so when that happens, I'm going to... Hit it for one. There you go. Okay. Then, but wait, there's more. I'm going to counterpunch it. Right? I just need to hit him one more time, right? Yep. Just a simple fight action. Okay. All right. So here we go. Five on a two. He's gone. And my bangle jangle, by the way. Got another use. Nice. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's awesome. I like Danielle a lot. All right, upkeep. Well, I drew my wing in it. Mike, do we at the end of this phase have a uh, fast window? Mm, I don't think we do until it's our turn. We have no lightning bolts until it's our turn, really. I think someone could let us know if that's wrong, but I... I so I can't I, get the blessed tokens in the bag before we resolve Mythos correct. cards? Okay. Then it is three doom, sir. Go ahead and draw. Polar Mirage. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. If I... After you discover or take control of one or more clues that attach to the location, I think I'm going to put that here at your location. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait. No. I'm going to put it here at the remnants of Lake's camp. Okay. Just in case we ever want to go back for those that green soapstone. Oh, yeah. So discard your hand if you discover a clue here. Awesome. And I got abandoned to madness. 
Search the nearest possessed enemy and place a Doom on it. Ah. If there are no possessed enemies, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a possessed enemy. Draw it. Let me show you the possessed enemies here. I believe we have two types. Yeah, we do. Okay. Daniel. Here they are. Where did these things come from? The Frenzied Explorer. This is the... the the B team that came with us, the unnamed, the unnamed. Are they in the encounter deck? Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Um. Actually, geez. So if you can evade this one, you get its. Oh my gosh! When it's defeated, you doom its location. Well, because we're killing our friends, right? And then this one is test will or so, book three if you succeed. Okay, so it's a way for you to get clues. Yeah, I have a rules question for you with the Frenzied Explorer. Yeah. If I let it hit me and then do my thing that evades him, does that not count as exp doing it by two or more? Oh, that's interesting. Right? I mean, it automatically evades, but not by any number. A part of me is thinking that I wouldn't even get to I do that, right? Yeah, the way it's written, it sounds like maybe no. I, I feel like that's probably true. I feel like that's a rough one for you, if you can't evade. The other yeah, one... I'm going to take the Lost Researcher and hang out with him. And what does this abandoned to madness do? It just makes him plus one to everything. Including the parlay value. So it's a will. Including four. the parlay. Oof. Hey. I'm going to talk to this fella. He comes with doom on him. He sure does. Now, if I put it to its clue side, what happens? Uh. Then if there's no Duma, oh, discard him. Okay. Oh, you you get the you get it as a clue immediately. I do. It just says flip it to its clue side. Take control of one Doom and flip it to its clue side. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Through the power of to, willpower. I just have to focus on not hitting. All right, so we're going to remember he has plus one to everything. Okay. Uh, okay, but we're going to bring that back to you because it's supposed to be attached. Just in case well, there's a shuffle back into the... Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right, so... Hmm. Mike, do you mind if I go? Please. All right, I'm going to talk to this fella. And I'm going to tell him that he's misguided. And I'm going to use my bangle. She should be and up I'm by at, two. I'm up by two. Yeah. And I don't think I need to... Keep faith. I'm wondering if I should. Oh, I can't. It, it, letting him hit me does nothing for me if I provoke it. So, Correct. all right. So, but keep faith right, is a uh, is a fast. Right. Do I? Up to you if you want to do it an hour later. Well, I don't see any reason not to. If it's fast, right? Okay, that's four. Okay. What is the camp value here? The camp value is five. Okay, so then I'm going to actually get rid of dodge to be up three. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Good thing you did that. Good thing I did that. So I will take his clue, discard him, I talk sense into him. You got a clue. I've done a thing, correct? You've done a thing. I don't see any reason to necessarily stick around in the cell graves, do you? I can't do anything there. Nah. Um, <clears throat> so I will walk up to you, see if you're okay. Yeah, I'm planning on moving it up one. Do you want me to guard you, or do you want me to... Depends what else you're doing. Because you can't get to the Crystalline Cavern. We need eight clues. Right. Like, There's no reason to go to a Polar Mirage, huh? We have to get clues here. Yeah. In order to go anywhere. Um, you know what? I'll move up to be with you. That's me done. 
All right, I'll move up. I'm going to draw a card because bloody hell, I want. <gasps> I got my keychain. I got my old keyring. Oops, I have shrewd dealings. Never mind. That doesn't cost me anything. Nice. Um, all right. So I have one action. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you want me to take the key ring? I mean, you're kind of a better natural reader, right? Like, what if I had it? And if you get rid of it, it just goes back to my discard pile, right? Yeah. Congratulations, sir. You're another proud owner of a key ring. And I put oh, it in no, my no, bandolier. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, your bandolier has it. There we go. Well, my bandolier actually has half of my sledgehammer. Yeah. Is okay. that legal? Is that That's legal, right? Okay. That's legal. Alright. Uh, and then I will play winging it. Just get it in my discard pile. And I get a clue. Only one? Only one. I only I only get one when I play it from my hand. Okay. I know. Slow turn. I need my bloody scavenging. No, I really think me with a key ring is a good thing. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. And then it recycles to my discard pile. And then yeah. if I can get it back out, I can give it back to you. Especially at this place where I turn the shroud to zero, right? Mm-hmm. So, all right. So what are the other shroud? So I'll leave Treacherous Path for you as well. Okay. Okay. Well, leave me, leave me one or the other, right? Yep. So. All right. Um, no monsters, correct? Correct. Upkeep. See you, Bill. Bill's leaving us? Bill and Steve have, have left us. They hate us. Sour mash. All right. I don't like this. <laughs> Four. All right. Four doom. I'm testing fleetness. Let's do this. I'm a five on a three. Yay. That's a pass. I get to draw a card. Cheers, keepsake. Is there anything special about this? No. I have drawn a Frenzied Explorer. There he is. Andrews play with Doom. All right. So I can't even stray cat him. I, that's really how I'm reading it. Is that how you are too? Like, yeah. For me, I'd have to pitch the stray cat and hope I get a zero or higher. Yeah. Did anyone chime in on the chat about that rule? No. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. We're in the mid we're in the witching hour. We're fencing anyways. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. But but then I can't kill him. Why not? Well, it doesn't matter, right? His doom just goes on the location. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mike, do you mind if I just hit this guy, this poor Go guy nuts. with a sledgehammer? Go nuts. All right. But do I let him attack me first? I don't think I have a card to even play. You know? I might as well do it with the sledgehammer. So minus one and plus one damage puts me up two. Okay. Do I? I don't use a jury rig for that, do? Well, you know what? I might. I'm going to use a jury rig and one handed him, okay? All right. All right. Uh, how do you know, right? Yeah. How do you know? Oh, well. All right, so that was one. Then I'm going to investigate. Go nuts. <clears throat> All right. I am at a... Well, I'm just at one to zero, right? Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. Right click. Oh, or uh, exhaust him and just get rid of it. Yeah, I think Avery's going to get rid of that one. Okay, now you don't replace it as far as I can tell. I think you just cancel and reveal. Yep, okay. So right click. Minus two. Right. Did you fail? Nope. Good. Get your clue. I mean, I don't think so, right? Key ring dropped it to zero. Yep, you're good. Okay. So that means I got rid of a key. Oh, thank you. And I've given you a clue. All right. Then, for my third act... I think it's third, right? Yeah. I have to go up to the old crash site. No, no, no. There's no, there's no clues there. Oh, wait. You can go straight to the treacherous path. And the supplies, we just have them, right? Yeah. Right, I'll go to the treacherous path. What I'm really trying to do is find a body. How are we going to get to these crags? Uh, that's me. Okay. I'm drawing a card. Bloody hell. What is it? <laughs> I haven't drawn my the two cards that can get me my scavenging back are hidden in my last six. I got screwed this game. Yeah. Folks, this is like a one in six chance, roughly, of getting this kind of game. Unfortunate. Really unfortunate that it happened early on. Okay. We're going to be fine. Yeah, it's just I don't have plan B because I just don't Stop have your a, belly aching. I don't have a plan B, buddy. I can't investigate a Shroud 4. I just can't. Not with that attitude. No, I, I can't. Uh, well, I can go the icy ways. Get up and... Well, get up to me. Take care of the clues here so we can move into the crags on, uh, on my money and just look at a body. Okay, sounds good. I'm investigating. Okay. And belly aching, by the way. There you go. All right. So I did get one clue. <laughs> and belly aching, I got the clue. <laughs> All right. So what did I do? I drew a card. I moved. Draw one more card. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Is that, is that you? <laughs> That's me. Okay. Uh, monster That's... phase, there are no monsters. Upkeep. Oh, another bandolier. This game's laughing at me now. All right. So, Mike, I will be right back to hear you read the agenda. Give me one second. <sighs> laughing at me, I swear. Well, <laughs> if I can get him to hold on to the key ring... Man, I at least wanted to get the bandages, the flashlight, and the Eon chart out. I can winging it to get it back in the deck. <clears throat> I can go on a winging it cycle. That would be funny. Actually, I really like that plan. All right. Oh, this is awesome. All right, Mike, go ahead. Okay. Tracks in the snow. As you journey through the glacial wilds, you stumble across a set of tracks in the snow leading farther from camp. You pause and investigate further. Were those these tracks made by one of your missing team members or by something more monstrous? We get to choose a face-down encounter card beneath a location and look at the other side of that card without mm. resolving it. I have a suggestion. I do too, but I want to hear yours first. The Crystal and Cavern. That's what I was going to suggest because we've already gone past it. Yeah, and because if we want to save up eight, we have to work for that. Yeah. It's Dr. Amy Kensler! Alright. Okay, how many clues do you have? Two. Two? I have two. So we can get a remaining four at the Icy Waste. Where are the Icy Waste? Uh, two to the left. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. Well, we need eight, don't we? We, you have two, I have two, and there's uh, four at the icy waste. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the precarious yeah. ice sheet. Hey, if you want to get something of the treacherous path while you're here, that's awesome. Um, do you mind if I go? F oh, we gotta draw cards. I gotta draw my card. My yeah, card we got, is. We got badness to deal with. Ancient evils. Oh, seriously. I guess I, guess I should. Oh, yeah, uh, we need a new agenda. You need to read. A chill, the chill of night. The low-hanging sun dimly illuminates the Antarctic night. Gray clouds cover the sky. Threatening an icy storm. Five. Okay. Doom threshold. All right. Okay. I put one on there for your ancient evil. Okay. And I have drawn me a dark aurora again. Uh, okay. I am going to... Oof. I'm just going to test it as is. I'll pitch a will for you. All right. I'm at plus two. Thanks. Realistically, I'm not paying for that. No. Ooh. That is still a fail. I'll take two horror. I'm already half crazy, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I should have given you the teddy bear then. You still can. No, it's in my play area. Oh, you teddy bared yourself? Yeah, sure did. Oh, Bob. Okay. All right. Well, I can grab this last clue pretty easy, and then we start trekking west. Yes, if you want to do it. Sure, I'll go ahead. Um, all right, I'll use the old key ring. Here we go. Oh, look, you passed. If we were attacked, <laughs> I might could see. Okay, interesting. All right. All right, so take your key ring back. I'll take my third clue. I've taken it off the location. Oh, thank you. I'll move to the precarious ice sheet. That's a terrible place to be. Oh, yeah, it is. But unless you have my guy. So I'm going to actually stay here. Remember, that's a, draw... that's a reaction. That's a reaction. What are you saying? Like, it's it's not really a terrible place to be. It's optional whether you do oh, that yeah, cross yeah. Um, I'm going to stay here and draw. Okay, sounds good. What'd you get? Viscous blow. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm also going to draw. Thank you. <laughs> Final action. Let's grab my scavenging. Oops, I gave it to you. And this is really nice. Are you done? Uh, I'm going to put out with my free action my Shoffer's catalog. Nice. All right. So then, Which uh, costs monster phase. Monster phase, there are no monsters. Let's go ahead and upkeep, my friend. Resourceful. <laughs> okay. Uh, to doom. All right. I'm still not going to hunt yet. Antarctic wind. Uh, we cannot play cards or draw cards from our deck at this location. Okay. Can you put it with us? Sure can. Okay. And I have drawn the polar mirage. With at least one clue. That's us. That's this location. Yep. Beautiful. Feel like that's okay, huh? Yep. Do you mind if I go first? I don't mind at all. Scavenging. Move it up. And I'm going to wing it and resourceful. So I'm a five on a one. Okay. Zero. Awesome. Okay. So I get two clues for that. Do you mind picking up my clues? Got them. Which means wing it goes into my discard pile. So I get another 
round of it, I get to pull uh, a level zero survivor card. That's going to be my old key ring. Oops. And I get to scavenge back any item I want. That's going to be my Eon charts. Nice. And then I am going to play my old key ring for free. No. No. I'm going to play out my Eon charts for a dollar. Okay. There we go. So... It looks like you're going to get the last clues we need, right? We just need one. We just need one? No, we need three more. You, I have four. You have one. Oh, right, because we have to get the... T There's going to be clues on that location. Although it is a shroud, I believe, a shroud five. Yeah, so... So, okay. so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a secret and immediately investigate. Okay. Oh. Uh, what is that? It's a Shroud 2 location, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I get a, t a Tiki card. Yes! That's actually good. <laughs> 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 it's actually for a, oddly good. But you failed, right? I did. And I totally screwed up. I should have paid that and been up a dollar. Okay. On okay. So... I guess the, the reason I was saying, like, what I was saying is, like, I should just head south now. Or are you worried about being stranded there alone? I might be stranded. I mean, you can't open it without me anyways. Right. All right, so I'll go with you. I mean, you don't have to come up to me. Although you don't like this location, do you? Well, it doesn't do anything for me. At least uh -huh. if you come up to me, I can buy you stuff. Okay, I come up to you. I have nothing for you to buy me. Yeah, I don't. I. But um, I can give you your key ring back, for instance. Right. Um, if you do that, then leave me here, right? I'm at minus one, right? Yeah, don't don't bother. But what if I make it? Oh yeah, that's true. And you do I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a card. Oh true grit. Oh that's nice. That's a nice thing. Um Here are eight cards. Yeah. Whoa, so gonna... Judith! Hey, how's it going? Judith, Judith and I, have, we've had the same hard week. Aww. Good to see you, Judith. Good to see you, too. Um, I put in True Grit for my last act. All right, that's really good. All right, Monster Phase. No I'm monsters. actually glad you're here, because did you know that the, the first Frost Token revealed during each skill test is more minus three? I didn't. So yes, I do like it when you're at my location. Okay. Um, monster fee, no, monsters upkeep. There's a tiki card. Three. Take a horror. Yes, I will absolutely put a horror on my teddy bear. Oh, that tiki card is awesome. Thank you, tiki card. <laughs> keep my <laughs> keep my scavenging going just a little bit longer. All right. All right. Your card. Cannot play cards or draw cards from their deck. Okay. So that's with us, yeah. Are these other ones gone or? Uh, no. Uh, well, this this one is gone. The, the one Antarctic win is gone, right? Yeah, the Polar Mirages stay. Okay. Oh, brutal card. I have drawn Abandoned to Madness. So you get another Possessed Enemy. Yeah, I'll take the guy who gives me clues. Lost researcher? Yeah. He is hard to talk to, though. He is. I don't have any will pips for you. 
Yeah, I don't either. Um, that's us, yeah? That is. I'll put a doom on that researcher. Uh, all right. Who's first? Um... Hmm. I'm at plus zero on that. I should go for him. Oh, you don't have a yeah. thing on your bangle. No, I almost want him to hit me. But I can't handle the psychic drain. Actually, yeah, I can, because I've got... I've got a buddy with me. Okay, kind of. They don't heal. The problem is I have... The problem is I have nothing to put it on. Do you have a dodge? You have a dodge. Yeah, but I don't know what that gives me. Well, when he attacks you, you dodge. And you still get yeah, the benefit. Yeah, but I mean... Yeah, but I'm trying to think of, like, what does it matter? Mm. To let him hit me. What do I get for that other than the bangle jangle? I guess that's what it is, right? So... I'm going to investigate here. Did you want me to go first, then? Well, okay, so what do we... Are you going to find all the clues? Well, if you're going to investigate, then I'm going to well, use... I'm only investigating so he hits me. But then you'll still investigate, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You... Were you going to give me a key ring? I was thinking about it. Let me. I'm doing some math in my head. Yeah. I'm I'm riding that razor's edge right now. That's why I don't. I don't have any. I have one book in my hand, one book. Okay, so let me investigate right now. I'm down one, right? Okay. Oh, so you are going first. I am, I am gonna. I am gonna give it to you. Okay. okay. Uh, free action. Investigate. Wow, wow. that didn't. Oh. Work. Had to come out sometime though, hey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's investigate again. Okay. That's a three on a two. That's one clue. Leave the last one for me. Get out of here. Okay, so I've only done one thing so far, and I get and I played something on you. You've done you've done two things. Uh, I you no, know, that was a free action I gave to you. We're right. getting and then you invest you investigated twice. That was free. Oh really? Eon chart. Oh Eon chart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eon chart is stupidly amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I've done one thing. Two things. Two things. three things. Okay. So, I will investigate where I am, immediately provoking an attack, right? That's correct. Okay, one will go on True Grit. Oh, I thought you are going to dodge. Nope. And a Psychosis will go on Avery. <laughs> I like hurting these guys. That's why they're here, right? Yeah, I, I know you do. All right, then I will investigate. Okay. I will find the last clue on that location. Do you mind clearing it? I absolutely will clear that. Okay. I was attacked. I will spend the thing on my bangle jangle to do a will check on this lost researcher. I'm at plus two only. I wouldn't have been able to help you had I been there. No, and I have no way to bump it up. I You've got think. a dodge in hand. That's it. Oh, yeah. I do want to be plus three. Okay. All right. Still okay. So I'll take his clue. Dude, you know what you just did? Kick ass. You made it so we didn't have to get in a clue at that yeah. Shroud 5 location. Yep. Yeah. So he's gone. I've done two things, right? Correct. Then I'll head south. Beautiful. Now remember, we got to get there, get her, do her thing, and then get back home. Understood. So it's going to be it's going to be it's, a challenge. It's not a picnic. Yeah. All right, monster phase, there are no monsters, correct? Correct. Upkeep. 
quick thinking. Yeah. Lovely. All right, we're at four. Okay. Dark Aurora. Oh, this is a willpower test. Oh, I'm just going to take the horror. Yep. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you I are. sure <laughs> as heck took four horror. So this can go back to my discard pile. And I've got me a polar vortex. Yeah, just don't stay there. Dude, I'm not afraid of polar vortex. I'm going to request that you go first. Okay. One, two. Hey, Bob. Hey, bye. Um, with my last act, I don't really have anything to do. This is crazy. Right? Yeah. I don't want to draw cards, necessarily, because I guess I'll just take a dollar. Okay. Weird. What's in here? I do have my flashlight. Okay. Uh, I had a plan, and it completely went off the rails. Okay. Okay. I am going to investigate with a quick thinking. What are you investigating? Uh, this location for absolutely nothing. Can you can you do it without clues on it? Oh yeah, that was uh that was a ruling as of uh because of burglary. Can you investigate a location okay. just to loot it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that's a success. And not only that, but I succeed by two. So, quick thinking gives me my action back, and I get to scavenge something back from my discard pile. Nice. Which is going to be my flashlight. Flashlight or cherish keepsake? I could use a keepsake if you're willing to hand it to friends. Uh, for my item action, I'm handing you a cherish keepsake. That's huge. So, I did one. I investigated, but got my action back. I'll spend all five of my clues to move you there, so you okay. can only spend three. That way you can trigger her thing. Uh, parts, especially upper parts, seem to be of lighter colored rock than any visible strata on slopes proper, hence an evidently crystalline origin. Oh. Test five fleetness to climb up one of the crystalline walls in search of evidence. If you succeed, you get miasmic crystal. Five fleetness. Five. That's Six a clues there. Yeah. Not that it matters, but... Oh, I'm not allowed to copy things because I don't own this game or something, right? No one ever promoted me. Don't worry about it now. No, late. no, no. You mentioned it. Uh, shelter 8. Okay. <laughs> five fleetness. How am I going to get five right. fleetness out of that? Okay. So uh, two and wake up Kinsler. Just double checking my actions. One. I've done two. So I still have an action left, right? I think that's right. Okay. Let's wake up Kinsler. All right. What does she say? I can test two book to convince her to tell you what she has seen. For each point, she succeeds by place a resource on her from the token pool. Or we just kill her. If you fail, she attacks you. <laughs> if there are four resources on her, add her to the victory display. If she's defeated, you just kill her. Okay, right. so a simple book I don't test. advocate actually killing her. That's cool. Well, I'm just going to do this book test. I'm up by three. And I lose by one. Because we're at a Shelter 8 location. And she attacks you. Uh, yep. She's not ready to listen, Mike. I see that. That's a hard test. When you're at this location. Yeah, you need to bring her own, bring her home to me. One of these cards ought to be perception. No, I pitched perception. Sorry, I, I lost it at the be in the beginning of the game. 
Okay, well, that's uh, all I got. Okay, so monster phase. Looks like she hits you again. Yeah. I might bring her to you. Yeah, I'm gonna. I actually gonna go up and get her off of you. All right, our upkeep is all right. Toe to toe. You just don't need all this ass kicking. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh, you will need it in, in the get... next adventure. I promise you, you will need it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my bandolier. All right, um, Mike, you have a story to read us, son. Oh, this is this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Uh, okay. As you journey through the glacial wilds, you stumble across a set of tracks in the snow leading farther from the camp. You pause and investigate further. Were these tracks made by one of your missing team members or by something more monstrous? We already read that. Yep, they're both yeah. the same. Both the same. And uh, we get to choose and look at a card underneath another location. How about... um? I don't know. One above us? Yeah. Let's look at that. Discard an Eidolon enemy that does not have the elite trait from play. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> now, All right. one thing I'm worried about is that the access gather as much of these things as you can. Well, there's only one. Because we only lost one. You can lose... Up to nine. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not about these cards. No. You can really lose nine? Yeah, because um, if you if you fail, you end up at the crash site, which has shelter zero. And the way it works is you take you take all nine of your people, Understood. and you take Understood. out your shelter okay. value, and those are survive, and the remainder. So if you hit. <laughs> if you fail the first scenario, like everyone dies, kind of thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Then, but also every card you get is a survivor. And you get the back. Yeah, but like... Whereas we're hunting for the one. I see. Yeah. It's, it's just a very different game. That is so cool. It is. The storm grows closer, and with it looming in the sky, that downable sound returns. It haunts you with its presence, worming its way into your mind. Is it the cause of this folly? This madness? All right. Probably. Bad cards. Frenzied Explorer. Oh, goody. And I've drawn a skittering nonsense. Yeah, now they're coming. Okay. Okay. Can yeah. I go first? Yeah, please. Okay. I'm going to for zero play toe to toe. Okay. My skittering nonsense hits me. My bangle of jinxes then gets a box. Nice. The keepsake you loaned me, your teddy bear, thank you for that. You're welcome. And true grit, each grab of damage. And the nonsense is gone. Toe to toe is bonkers, man. It's a great card. Then. Automatically successful. <laughs> Now, do you want me to walk up and get, grab it, or do you want to bring it to me? Well, I can't now, because I've got two enemies on me. All right. Then I'm going to go up to you for my second act. Okay? Yep. And then I'm going to see just what you've got here. I think we're just going to have to sledgehammer him. You okay with that? Oh, yeah. We'll leave his doom on board. Is that okay? I mean, I'm not evading him. Well, or am I? If you are, I will grab Kinsler off you. I've got a barricade in my discard pile, don't the I? The thing is, is I can't talk to Kinsler. But I can. Right. She doesn't have to be on me. I understand that, but like we have to... One second. Hey, if she fails, if you fail while talking to her when she's on me, then my thing goes off, right? Uh, she still attacks me. Mm. Bummer. 
This is uh, man. I need. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take the one damage I took on True Grit. I'm gonna take it on me. Okay. Because why not? Okay. Um, I. I should you probably tell me spend. What I'm, hit, I'm hitting something with a sledgehammer. It'll it'll be the explorer. I, I'm gonna actually just spend all my actions trying to talk to Kensler. Are you sure? I, we we're kind Wait. of left in a bind. Take where... her out of here, though. Because this, the cavern is terrible. Sure. Okay, we'll do. Right. Yeah. So, but you're gonna get hit then. No, I won't. You have a plan? Eon charts are fast. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to whack your, and doodle your... How does that work? Explorer? During your turn, exhaust the chart and spend one secret to choose and take one of the following actions. Move, evade, or investigate. No, it's just a move action. It's not... It's not like you're suddenly teleporting. You get an extra... Act, you just get a fourth action. Okay, so, so when she, you move, you'll get hit by her. So she will hit me. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So yes, please, but please you, sledgehammer. You still need me to get this frenzied off you? All right, sure I'm going to jury rig this cat. He's very gone. <laughs> the chat's been awesome. I gotta catch him up here. Uh... Alright, that's me though. I can't follow you. Uh yeah. Yeah, I know. Alright, here we go. So go and calm her down. I'm going out over here. She's gonna hit me for one and one. Now if you wanna try to talk to her once, just so I can take the true grit. But maybe uh... that is the next time. I don't know. It's sense. the horror yeah. I need. Man, I wish I had a book icon on me. Okay. Don't you wish you had your keepsake back? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that too. All right. Hey, Kensler. How's it going? There you go. May I tell you about this new town share I, time share I have? There you go. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm going to whore out really quick. <laughs> All right. No, you're not. All right. Because uh, I'm taking one right now. Sure, but I'm going to... No, no, I'm sorry. Her... I'm taking two right now. Why two? Because I'm drawing the last card in my deck. You're fine. Okay. All right. What I'll save for, you. What do we have for Doom? Well, hold on. We've got monsters. Did you take your damage and all that? Uh, I will. Okay. And then we've got upkeep. Okay. That's another horror. Medical student. That's you, brother. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so good. Okay. Then. I did put a doom one... on the agenda already. You did or did not? I did. All right. So, yep. Is that one? But let's put two uh, down. Let's put two. Because you killed that right. explorer, right? So oh, the, I did. And he dropped a doom. So let's just put the second doom on there. Okay, yeah, yeah that's fair. All right. Uh, my card is... Through the Ice. Okay. It's going to cost us... Stuff to leave this location. That's That's not great. Nope, not really, but it only well, hits actually, it's, first person. It's fine if I go first. Yeah, or All right. or if I pass. Right. Or, I'm or okay with that. the... Yeah, it's the horror. Anyways. Okay, okay, you're up. My card is... A oh, shoot! Okay. Okay, you're right, testing so, will 8. <laughs> yep, I'm down... Oh... Hey, I failed. Yeah. And I get like a deck of leaky, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Minus three. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. So you failed by... S seven? Seven. Okay. Is there an easier way to do this than I'm doing or no? Probably not. Why don't you flip them as I'm discarding? Oh, you. And you have to draw your every weakness? Yep. Well, we got mob goons. And you have dread curse. Well, this just. Dude, if we lose this game again because of that bloody dread curse. 
All right, so that happened. Yeah, so we have five curses in the bag. Okay. And now we have another problem. What's that? You have no clues, so you can't place two clues on your location. If you take a no, four... No, no, I'm putting, I'm putting a snowflake in. Yeah, that's... And that's permanent. Because yeah, you know I don't care about snowflakes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm not sure how I'm going to heal you up. Um, I'm going to let you go first. That was, that was the game so deciding that we didn't need to win. The game decided that we needed horror. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what's your what's your thing? My plan is to hope you get out of this. So I, you want me to go first? Yes, please. Okay. Alright. The problem is, is I can't... Alright, so I'm going to mob goon. What are they at? Three? Okay. You ready? Yep. Alright, so I'm going to one, two, punch the mob goons. Okay. So that should, if I do it right, win. So that's six, three. All oh, right, I need to be up four, don't I? Uh, this location, yes. You're not up four? Don't you get a plus one right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, there's my other sledgehammer. Up four. I... Uh... I'll get rid of that okay. with Avery. Good choice. He exhausts to do that, right? Yes, he does. Okay. So you're at plus two. <laughs> oh. So, all right, so that hits him for one. Did you get rid of that bless? I did. All right. Then I'll hit him again with the second punch, which is at plus two, which is also plus four. All right. He's gone. So that was one action. Now, right. do you need me to take the guy off you? If you want to play your med student instead, that'd be awesome. You can deal with that then? Uh, for a turn. Okay. So then one, two actions, right? Yep. I'll then spend a med student. I'll take the horror off me. No, I'm just kidding. Ha 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 ha. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Are you sure about this? I was until that dread sure. curse went in the bag. You're not sure about anything. Do you need a jury rig? Yes. To give you plus one. Yes. In fact, I'm going to pitch a jury rig too. So it's a Are you sure? six on a two. Oh, we want to be as high up as possible. Okay. Because uh, whatever I succeed by, we get that many tokens. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it was a four, plus five, one. six. Plus one, right? Plus one. What's the plus one? Didn't you win by one just now? Yeah, I won by only one, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's what I mean, plus one. Which means i got to take the test again. Here we go, doing it raw. Wait. He's already tapped. Oh, he's already tapped! That's a fail. I can't do it again. No, stop it. I'm going to evade. Wait, when when you failed, when she failed, I'll take it on True Grit. Sure. Just the damage anyway. Yeah. I'm going to try to evade her. I'm up by one. Awesome. She's nice. evaded. Whew. That puts her on our location, right? Yeah. All right. We still have to engage her, right? To drag her up to the campsite? One sec wait a second. Wait a second. I get a free action to investigate. This is what, a shroud one? Yeah. I'm, ju I'm just going to do it. Awesome. Nice. Let's see if I can pull back something with some pips. Oh no, of course not, doy! I just shuffled my deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, how bad do you need your uh, stray cat back? 
It's not an item. Oh. I'm not an Pets idiot. Pets are kind of items, if we were, like, no thinking kidding. about it philosophically. All right, whatever. So, that, that's, that's us. How much doom? Monster phase, no monsters. She engages you. Is that what we want? If you're okay with that. I'm fine with it. Upkeep. I got all my weaknesses out. Ooh, resourceful. Mechanics wrench. Now? Yeah, I know, hey. I would appreciate all your book pips for this next one. Oh, we got... Oh, silly. Uh, oh, silly you. We're at three doom of six. Yep. Did you put it on? Okay. I did. My right, card is Through the Ice. Uh, I'm going to put that down here. That's Snow Graves. All right. Okay. And I have drawn oh. Ancient Eden's. Of course. I think it's okay. Yeah, we just have to bloody survive this. So, you just need to talk to her once, right? I need to succeed by one. Okay. So I'm a four. I have a resourceful that puts me up by. Uh, I'm up by three. Take my mechanics wrench. You're up by four. Minus two. Succeed by two. Guess what? There She's are... on our side. Add her to the victory display. All right. Get out of here. I would love to. Uh, one sec here. Okay. Uh, now I will do my move. And it's a fleetness test. Fleetness 2. Yep. Got any fleetness pips? Nope. Uh, no. Oh my god, I passed. <laughs> <laughs> I resign. Okay. Whew. Uh, I will move. Because I see no reason to stick around, do you? Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> I will move, so through the ice. No, no, it's, uh, oh yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. it's gone, right? No. Oh, it's only if you fail, it's gone. Yeah. All right, I'm even with this test. I'm wondering how this can kill me. Uh, no, no, because if right. you fail, it just it goes away, so. Yeah, I failed. Oh, that's all right. I take one and one, right? Yeah, I'll take my, uh, my keepsake back. Yep, and I'll lose true grit. It's gone. All right, now you can move. <laughs> I move and I resign. Whew. Okay. We did it, dude. Dude, that seemed easy enough. Well, we we got it really oh. close. Hold on. Go ahead and flip the act deck. Tell us yeah. what happens. Turning in. With night coming to a close, the storm approaches faster and faster. Soon the weather will be too deadly for your search to continue. If anyone is still out there, you doubt they'll survive. And neither will you if you remain unsheltered any longer. You return to your camp, your heavy heart your heart heavy with guilt, and your mind addled by that foul noise that festers within. R one. R one. Well you know what, Mike? What? I don't see an R one. Oh yeah, I do. Um I'm going to hold our listeners in suspense as I quickly run to the loo. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to have a look at how many... Okay, we have three, <laughs> we have three frost tokens. <laughs> oh. See, if I was Daisy, I'd be totally okay with this. You know, what this, what this tells me, all these frost tokens and all these dread curses, is I have to beeline for that red clock. I got to find something to get my stats up and that's the quickest way to do it because what else we got the other thing i have is my well connected which is not a guarantee so i think i'm going to go for red clock next and then only after red clock do i go for joey the rat because then joey the rat and well connected can get me some awesome awesome combo and start recycling my aeon charts and then Red Clock gives me the skill boost I need. Yeah. 
And what I learned today was that the cards that are good for, say, investigating and evading don't have pips on them. So they really stink when you're going up against those tests. Whew. Saglestone. What was not expected? Us winning? <laughs> I thought we'd win. Uh, I just didn't know if uh, someone would uh, bite it first. Hi, Daniel. Mike, you ready for a story? Let's do this. Oh, resolution one, you say? Resolution one. All right. It is clear that something compelled your teammates to venture away from the Save Beaver camp. Something alien and mysterious. Something that defies your understanding of Antarctica. None of those who wandered off remember what they did or why they were doing it. It is almost as if their memories were wiped clean. Or perhaps their consciousness was supplanted by another. In any event, they seem to have recovered. You mourn those you've lost and prepare for the day ahead. Rest or no rest, you have only one chance if you're to survive. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. One. <laughs> nice. Hey, we could have gotten up to nine had we lost everyone in, in the first. <laughs> yeah. In the expedition team section of the campaign log, record the amount of damage and horror on each partner. So you have what? Plus, Plus one horror. horror to my dude. Find each enemy in the victory display whose title matches a character who's not crossed off. Uh, yeah, Dr. Amy Kensler. Okay. Yeah. But she's not, she's rescued, right? She is now rescued. Okay. These characters have been rescued! Exclamation point. Cross off MIA next to them. Each missing team member who was, who was not found surely could not have survived the night. But we didn't have anyone, right? Correct. Proceed to checkpoint to the attack. Don't clean the game up yet, Mike. No, oh, I won't. I won't. Okay, okay we are going to go straight to checkpoint two. Please. Why don't you go ahead and read that? All right. You barely have time to rest before the sound of something erupting out of the ground nearby shakes you to your core. Massive tremors follow, sending cracks through the ice all around you. Then that noise, that insidious piping. To Kelly Lee! To Kelly Lee! Whatever those creatures you encountered earlier were, you are sure they came from under the ice, breaking or seeping through to reach the surface. They must somehow live deep under the glacial crust of Antarctica. These quakes can only mean one thing. Your imagination stirs with visions of these monsters bursting forth all around you, creeping into your eyes and mouth, controlling you. It is clear you aren't safe here any longer. The investigators must decide. Run for your lives. You will skip the next part of the scenario. Proceed to the attack two. Or stand and fight. You will play the next part of the scenario. We're playing the next part, right? Well, I'm standing and fighting. I'm, da I'm Daniela Reyes. Yeah, you came here to kick some butt. And... I did not come here to run from worms or whatever the hell these things are. Yeah. And we know they're worms, too. They're not more possessed people that require you to not hit them with a sledgehammer. There you go. All right. So <laughs> uh, we'll do the... Uh, the attack four, you've decided to fight off the attacking creatures. Okay, so basically every location that's revealed, we write down. We're going to set up the same as normal, where all the locations that are revealed are revealed, and all the ones that aren't okay. aren't. And uh, we, yeah, this this is it. This is the last part of Ice and Death. So there we go. That's really cool. I mean, like, I'm now understanding what all the people have been saying about this. Yeah. 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 Really, really cool campaign. About how it can last it's sort of as long as it does. Yeah. Yeah. It worked really well. Um, I'm well, what did you think about scenario two? Oh, I liked it. I think so far this two for two on this campaign. I, I really think it's interesting. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is absolutely stellar. Yeah, that's really cool. This one I can see how you might have a bit of a bad experience if you have a fighter, a soul fighter. Like my wife was playing, um, she, she's playing uh, Leo Anderson. 
okay. uh, with a cyclopean hammer and so if she doesn't oh, have right. stuff that she can hit what does she do right so she's got some right. sled dogs to help investigate and I'm, I'm helping out where i can but this is definitely a difficult one for a, a true fighter right which is what i am and what so i have on xp uh right. yeah yeah which gives me All two right. so i don't have enough for anything yeah yep they <laughs> Looks like in the first scenario they dream eaters us, and now they're done witching us. Hey. Yeah. Right. Well, it, it, it's well, it's a reverse reward for sucking. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Because if you suck, which then I appreciate, you get That's all nice. the XP you missed in the first one, which is really awesome. Unless you ran away. But if you ran away, mm-hmm. well, <laughs> then you're you're done. <laughs> well, this is good, Mike. I needed this. Thank you. Good. Good. I'm glad. All right, so just a reminder, we are back next week, and we're going to do part three of this campaign. Woohoo! It's going to be just this until we finish this. Hopefully we're just hitting things with sledgehammers. <laughs> I, should, I, I should invest, hey? Mike, I hope you take Cookie. Uh, you want me to take Cookie? Well, I don't know. I could see you needing someone who can fight for five. Yeah, it might be nice if we get overwhelmed, hey? Yeah. I just don't want to take him if there's nothing to do right well maybe i will i don't know how big the things are that are creeping through the ice but well if you're not taking avery i am let's put it that way because there's three of those bloody snowflakes in the bag i thought one was temporary just to this can't this scenario no daniel none of these snowflakes are ever temporary oh that's awesome (laughs) now you're wondering why i was complaining so much about you taking the snowflakes Remember the snowflake I took didn't matter. <laughs> how do we get? How do we get the other one? Uh, we start with one. Oh, and we're just gonna get. We're gonna we, start with three because every scenario gives you another one. No, no, no. We we started the game, the whole campaign with one. Yeah. Already. Then, then we, we got, got a one. second one for joint for just starting this level. Yep, yep. Then we got another one because you didn't want to take seven horror when you only had three left. You got that treachery that said you had to do two things that you basically couldn't do oh. or put a snowflake in the bag. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not worried about snowflakes. Oh, uh, he's not now. I'm not, a, I'm not a snowflake, so I'm not worried <laughs> about snowflakes. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks, Good everybody. You chat. Thank you, Daniel. We'll catch you all oh, next. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right. Good night, all.